everyone, my name is Chris, and thank you so much for joining me today at Haywood Homestead. I hope all of you are doing great. Today, I am finally getting around to doing what our budget is going to be for um, our new home, uh, for larger items and um, that we'll need as soon as we move in. Um, so this won't include smaller things such as a throw pillow for our couch or anything like that. Um, we'll cash flow smaller things, but we also, again, have a budget for the big things that we're going to need um, when we move into our new home, which is getting very uh, near, uh, hopefully. Uh, we just have a few things left to be done. If you haven't seen my latest video on what's left to be done, um, before we move in, uh, uh, check it out. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So, um, I'm going to count the money that we plan on spending for this budget. As you can see, probably already, we are using fake money. This money, this, uh, represents how much is in our savings account. And so, we don't want to take out all of this real money because it is quite a bit out of our savings. Um, but I am going to keep track of our purchases in this binder here. And I uh, also have a budget card in here. And so as, as we buy things, we'll be able to keep a running tally of uh, how much money is left for that category. And then I also plan on showing you guys uh, as we buy things. And um, I'll include pictures or you know, video clips and that kind of thing as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, let me count my money first. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 500, 5,500, 5,600, 5,700, 5,800, 5,900, 6,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six thousand seven hundred, seven oh five, excuse me, six oh five, six ten, six. Uh, I got all this money. Let me change this here. I got my money all backwards. <laughs> I have to count from highest to lowest, so let's change the order of those. All right, so we have uh. 5,500 up here, uh, plus 57, 58, 59, 6,000, is that right? 5,500 up here, 56, 57, 58, 59, okay, this is 6,000, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, um, 750, 800, 820, 840, 845, and 850. So $6,850. And as you can see, these were $500 bills, but I had to change them to uh, lower denominations. So we'll put, first let's put these hundreds together. As you can see, I'm not used to counting really big denominations all together. Um, I'm gonna turn them this way. So it took me a little bit longer to count all of that. All right, so 50s here, and then 20s, and then 5s. All right, so let's get going. Hopefully, all of this is in frame for y'all, and y'all can see this. I'm really excited to do this video because uh, pretty soon we will be shopping uh, for the items I'm about to mention. Um, and so, again, the total amount we're stepping today is 6850 uh, it would have been $7,000 even instead of such a weird number like $6,850. Uh, however, we bought a, um, a TV, and I'll insert a picture here. It was on a pre-Black Friday sale. It's a, a TCL a Roku TV. It's 55 inches, and I believe it was on sale for $188. And then we found a coffee maker we've been wanting. It's a Keurig. It has the... Uh, the one cup side, and then you can also make a full 12 cup uh, pot of coffee on the other side. 
and I think this was like 69 or 79 dollars and so some of the money for the from the coffee pot came from the new home budget and some of it we just cash flowed so I'm sorry for the the weirdness there but that's why again this is not an even seven thousand dollars all right so let's open up our binder here all right, so to start with, I have this little budget sheet here, and I have a ton of these, but once some of these um, items are bought, they won't need an entire card or a backside. I'll be, and I didn't want to do one budget sheet per category because it would have been a waste. So I'm doing all of them onto one card and giving enough room to keep track uh, when we make the pur purchases. So these are our categories, as you probably have already um, are already reading. Uh, we have refrigerator. Let me bring this closer to the camera, making sure y'all can see it. Uh, outdoor shed, deck paint, pantry stock up, U-Haul rental, and miscellaneous. And as we go through each category, I'll explain. I'll talk about them a little bit and explain um, what what our budget is for each one. So we're going to put this over here. And to start off with, we're going to start with fridge or refrigerator, however you want to call that. So, I've got these little cards I made to mark them. Because once we're through with these envelopes, everything's been purchased and, and done with, I will reuse this binder in our regular budgeting. Um, and so, I didn't want to make permanent marks on these envelopes since I will reuse them later. Okay, so refrigerator is going to get $1,800. So, we, uh, our home builder provides, and I think I mentioned this in just the last video I did that I mentioned earlier where uh, I was showing you what's left to be done before we move in. So, our home builder includes an a oven and range top as well as a microwave and a dishwasher for the kitchen. Uh, these appliances have not been installed yet, so we are waiting to buy a refrigerator. We want to be able to match the refrigerator to the other appliances as well as the brand name that they are. I was really hoping that I would have been able to, you know, find a good deal on Black Friday for one, but we don't know what what the appli other appliances will look like yet, so... Um, but that's okay. We're budgeting $1,800 for this. And, you know, refrigerators, they can <clears throat> range from, you know, five, dollars $600 on up to $5,000. But we think $1,800 is a pretty good number to stick by. We have seen a couple in that price range we like. But, again, we're not sure if they're going to fit into our kitchen theme uh, so as soon as we go shopping for one, we'll, we'll take you along and show you the one we pick out and of course how much we spend. So let's go ahead and add $1,800 to this. So I'm going to take a $1,000 bill and let's do a $500. That's $1,500 and then $1,600, $1,700, and $1,800. and this will be good to go. And again, we're gonna treat this as if it's real money because all of this money is together with in our savings account where our emergency fund is. So it's all kind of together. So I didn't want to just simply be transferring money from savings to our spending account and losing track of how much we're spending on, on these particular things. So I thought, <clears throat> having a binder and just using fake money would be good enough and keeping track that way. So, $1,800 for a new refrigerator. This one is good to go. Our next category is an outdoor shed. So, we are wanting to put an outdoor shed and convert it into a, um, well, what we're trying to do, we're going to get a shed and I'll show a picture of one that we're thinking about buying and then we're going to put what they call lean-tos on each side and here's a picture of that and I'll circle the lean-tos and so one side um, this will be out in what we call the pasture part of our yard it's going to be fenced off and we're going to have families horses coming over sometimes and we're going to have uh, goats possibly 
Um, so one side, they will be able to go under uh, the lean to to get out of rain or, you know, any kind of bad weather that we might have. And so they'll have some um, shelter. The other side, we're going to put, uh, we're going to enclose that side in completely and make a chicken coop. So we're going to need to do quite a bit of construction once we get the shed. Um, I have not budgeted for the extras on each side of the shed, you know, the wood and all of that good stuff. We do have some leftover wood from the build of our house. So we're going to see uh, how far that goes before we decide uh, how much or if any uh, wood we still need to buy. So the budget for this shed is $3,000. So we have a very good um, supplier in our area. Uh, they're really, really good people. Um, they have excellent customer service and they have really good deals on sheds. And so hopefully really, really soon, I'm going to go ahead and buy one and have it delivered. They do have free delivery, which is awesome. Um, but again, we're going to budget 3000 for this. So we're going to take one, two, and 3000 We probably won't do the chicken coop or the lean-tos on each side of the shed until next summer. That's not an urgent thing right now. It's just getting everything set up. Uh, our focus, since we're moving in and almost the winter time, is going to be the inside of the house and getting that like we like it. And then the outside will get more attention uh, next year. So outdoor shed gets 3000 uh, moving on to deck paint. So, as you have seen by now, our house is a blue color and it's got white trim. Uh, I have also mentioned this, but we're planning to paint um, the blocks of the foundation as well as the front porch and the back porch. <clears throat> excuse me. A dark charcoal gray color. And um, the builder doesn't supply or doesn't paint these. These are left on the customer. Um, so we are having to budget for this. So I'm planning to paint uh, these items and budget three, uh, let's say three hundred dollars for that. And I'm hopefully that will be enough money to buy paint for all of that. If not, we'll adjust it um, at that point. So three hundred dollars. Okay, and we'll stuff this in here. We'll probably get all of that painted sometime this late fall, winter, pretty soon. All right, so again, 300 for deck paint and as well as the foundation block um, as well. All right, next is pantry stock up. So moving into a new home or moving period, you have to... A lot of times start from the very beginning, you know, um, you have to get all of the basic items you need in your pantry, such as seasonings, or if you like the refrigerator, you may need condiments, um, all of that good stuff that you just don't, you don't have anything. And so we will need to stock up our pantry. And for this, we're planning to budget $425. And I know that's an odd number, but again, this goes back to having to change our, our, our initial budget um, because we had already made two big purchases and it, this is just where everything fell. Um, but we will buy our items at Walmart or Sam's or maybe a combination of the two. And I also plan on showing you all what we buy and how we, um, and, and how we fill up our pantry. So, 425 is going to go in pantry stock up. So, let's see. We got, uh oh, sorry if I shook the camera there. 100, 200, 300, 400. And then we're going to take a 20 and a 5 to make $425. get all my money down in here. Some of these $100 bills are just kind of 
difficult to get in the envelope. There we go. So pantry stock up, again, is getting $425. Our next big item we are budgeting for is a U-Haul rental. Um, <clears throat> as you see with our budgeting videos, we always budget uh, $256 a month. We're renting two storage units at a local uh, storage unit facility um, to keep all of our belongings in. And last year when we moved out of our house, we had to line up a bunch of help as well as trucks and trailers. And um, I, my back is not that great. So I have to really be careful when I lift heavy things and I have to really watch myself because um, I've had lots and lots of trouble with my back. Um, in the past. So we decided when we uh, get ready to move in our new home, we're going to rent a U-Haul and just get everything on one trip and then bring it all back to the house, unload it all, and then turn the U-Haul back in. And that way we won't have to line up um, people getting, bringing their trucks and trailers. Uh, we still will need help bringing some heavy furniture in from the truck, of course, but I believe overall this will be an easier way to go about it. I've never rented a U-Haul before, um, but I, I want to keep it probably at least for a good day, maybe even a day and a half. Um, I am going to budget $75 for this. I don't know if this is right on the money or if it's uh, too low, uh, but again, this might be something we have to adjust uh, in time. So let's take a 50 a 70 or a 20 and then five so 50 75 all right so 75 for u-haul rental so lastly um is miscellaneous now miscellaneous covers a bunch of things and i'll kind of go over a few things that we have in mind that it will cover and you know what I could have been writing. I'll update this after I get through talking about the miscellaneous category. Um, so miscellaneous is going to get uh, 1250 Um A few things that we're going to buy from this category or from this money uh, will include um, probably two ceiling uh, fans uh, for our bedrooms. Our master bedroom just has a, a light fixture. Um, we love to have a fan on when we're sleeping, whether it's, you know, 20 degrees outside or 110 outside, it don't matter any time of the year, we have to have a fan blowing. Um, so some of that will go toward a ceiling fan for our master bedroom as well as uh, another bedroom. Our builder, um, gave us a ceiling fan for our living room, but the other bedrooms are only wired for future ceiling fans. They don't include um, fans for those rooms. Um, another thing we might need to buy is some new dining room chairs. We already have a nice wooden table that will go in our, our, our dining area. It, uh, it's small. Um, it used to have a four chairs with it that were made of a uh, wicker. Well, the wicker got messed up and they're really not good to use anymore. So we're gonna need to buy four new chairs to go with that table. Uh, also, uh, since we now have a bar, well, we had a bar in our last kitchen, but we didn't really use it. Um, it was really a catch-all actually, but we plan on using the bar we have now, uh, but we will need to buy two bar stools for that. And then any any money that's left will just simply go toward uh, new house decor or whatever we um, see that we need or want for the house at that time. So again, the budget for this is going to be 1250 So that's what we should have left right here. So let's count this. We have 1000 100 200 and 250 so $1,250 is correct. All right, so let's 
it's exciting to get moved in our new home, but it is also a very stressful thing. Um, Amanda and I have been married close to 14 years, and we have moved several times throughout our marriage, and every time we get moved, I, I say to myself, okay, I'm never moving again, because it's just a, it's a headache to move stuff, but hopefully this move will be one that lasts. Uh, we were in our last house for uh, seven years, I believe, seven years, so this house we're moving into hopefully will be our forever home. Um, maybe, maybe not, you know, but it, we will definitely be there a lot longer than we were in our last place. So that is all of our categories that we're planning, um, to buy for in cash for our new home. Uh, back here is just more play money. I have quite a bit of it. I ordered from Amazon a while back. If you're interested in any, any of this play money, um, you can check out my description box. So, before we move on to something else pertaining to our new home budget, let me go ahead and update this tracker. So, today for refrigerator, we added $1,800. Uh, outdoor shed, we added $3,000. And again, we will update this card as we make purchases. Deck paint gets $300. Uh, pantry stock up gets, I believe, four twenty-five. Uh, U-Haul rental gets seventy-five, and then miscellaneous gets one thousand two hundred and fifty. Um, of course, I left. There's a lot of space at the room at the bottom because the miscellaneous will, you know, be divided by several different items. So we'll update this as we get to it. Um, I'll go ahead and put this in the binder here. So, again, as I mentioned, we're budgeting $6,850 in cash. Um, we, there are a couple other things that we are going to need to buy. However, these items will not be bought in cash. They will be put on credit. I could put everything in in cash, meaning I could pull everything we need out of our savings account, but it would put us down to a an amount I'm not really comfortable with. So to keep more in our savings account, because we're already having to pull nearly seven grand from it, um, these other items again will be put on credit. And so I have a paper here I'm gonna show you. And let's see here. Um, so, the first thing we have is blinds. So, as you see, all of our windows are bare. Uh, window coverings are not included in our house build. These are uh, items that we have to uh, fund ourselves. We do plan on going to Lowe's and maybe opening a Lowe's credit card and having blinds uh, installed throughout our house. Um, also, our backyard will need uh, privacy fencing uh, right away, um, and the main reason for that is because we have two dogs, and we're not going to let them um, roam the entirety of the property because our property is not yet uh, surrounded by a perimeter fence, and so they will have a, a portion of our backyard in a privacy fence. So this will need to be bought pretty quickly. Um, we're budgeting $3,500 for this. Um, I believe we're going to need, we're going to, Lowe's sells um, fence panels, which all, which means all you do is you buy the panel, you buy some posts, and you, you know, you, you nail it all together. And you, of course, you want to uh, put the post in the ground and concrete those in. We're Guessing we're going to need about 30, maybe 25 to 30 um, fence panels, and then maybe double that of post. And so I have 3,500 figured up um, that we will need. This is probably a little bit more than we need, but I wanted to play it on the safe side. Uh, the, the panels we plan on buying are what they call severe weather, meaning they don't, um, they don't, what is the word I'm trying to look for? Basically, they hold up good in, in rain and um, 
heat, that kind of thing. So they they do really well and they um, they stay looking pretty good for many years. Um, we're going to get the six foot tall ones by eight foot wide. And last time I looked, these were about $70 a panel. These are pretty expensive. We're not going to have the fencing installed. We're going to put it up ourselves to save some money. So what we're um, 3500 and 1500 will give us about a 5000 budget at Lowe's. I do have Lowe's credit card here. This may be items that I end up putting on our own personal credit card and paying it off that way. I'll have to see what interest rates are with Lowe's and decide uh, from that. Uh, next is, um, this says Rooms to Go credit card. Our we're planning to get some new living room furniture and budgeting $2,500 for that. We might not go to Rooms to Go. There's a couple other furniture stores near us that might have something better we like. Um, but wherever it is, we're going to budget $2,500. And again, this might end up coming off a personal credit card instead of getting a store card. We'll have to see. So, to wrap up everything, our finance total, we're budgeting $7,500, and then our cash total, $6,850. So, in total, um, $7,500 plus $6,850 will give us $14,350. So, this is the total we plan on spending to move in our home, and we believe this amount will be good for everything that we need. Uh, anything else we need, we will cash flow or save up for it. Uh, beginning the new year, we will have uh, lots of sinking funds added. I can't wait to show y'all those. I will do a video in late December about what, they, what, what they're going to be. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and that um, you kind of see now what we need to buy and um, because you probably all have wondered if we have everything already or if we're going to need to get some things. But we're going to have to get some things quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, but I can't wait to show you all as we start buying items, which will be super soon, I believe. And we will take you all along with the journey. This might end up getting its own playlist. Um, because I'll have several videos that are related to uh, our new home budget and... Um, but I'll, I'll decide later if I do a playlist for it, and I'll let you know if I do. So, again, hope y'all enjoyed this video, guys. I thank all of you for uh, being here and watching my videos. All of you are just awesome people. Welcome to my new subscribers, and I hope y'all will join me next time. Bye, guys.